at the Dinosaur Resource Center, our laboratory and production facility is responsible for supplying cast and original skeletons to museums all over the world. But look at this. This Edmontosaurus is 24 feet long. It's huge! And we have several specimens that are even larger. How in the world do we move these things? I'm going to show you. Take a look. The bones are together, there's a steel armature on the inside, and they've been painted to look like the original. The secret is that we built it in sub-assemblies, smaller sections of the skeleton that come apart and are much easier to fit inside a custom-built crate so that we can ship it. All right, so the way we put the dinosaurs together is we have the body parts that are called sub-assemblies. So we'll have different sub-assemblies of the dinosaur, like the arms will be a sub-assembly, the skull is a sub-assembly. A sub-assembly is a part of a dinosaur. Um, when we build the dinosaurs in the lab, we take those sub-assemblies, which would be a leg or a skull or a neck or the body of the dinosaur, and we have those in sections, just so we can move a leg without moving the whole dinosaur. So what we'll do is we'll start with the legs and we'll have the, bra the, the base of the dinosaur. We'll put the legs in and then the, the body parts just bolt together using set screws or bolts holding everything in place. So it just locks in. And if we need to move them around the museum or if we need to ship it off to another museum, then everything just breaks down nice and easy. Uh, we just take the sub-assemblies apart and we can crate it up and then we can ship them off to wherever we're going. And it only takes one or two people. So putting the dinosaur together was a very interesting day for me. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. I've always seen the, our lab technicians putting all the dinosaurs together in the back, but I've never experienced that. So was everything I've seen in the museum, of course, was already established when I got here. So I never got to see how all the displays were put up. So assisting with that was very enjoyable for me, but it was a lot of work as well. I tell you, the day, that night that I got home, it was like I got beat up. I hadn't been that sore in such a long time. And you could tell you put in a full day's work after putting together some dinosaurs. Today you've learned that larger skeletons are built in smaller sub-assemblies that are easier to handle, crate, transport, and set back up in their new display locations. Take a look at some of our other videos, and please take a moment to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the cool stuff that's coming out of the lab. If you want to participate in the show, email us your questions or post them in the comments section below. And if you want to see skeletons like this Edmontosaurus and lots of others, stop by and see us in person at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Until then, I'm Jacob. Thanks for watching.